What's up guys? This is the Rifle Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode we are going to attack the city of Cologne and capture it from the Dutch Empire. So let's get busy. So it looks like the Dutch are very much on the ropes. We're squeezing them further and further westward. They're not going to be able to withstand that much longer. Um, but I think I do want to maintain a certain amount of troop building in Central Europe ready for us to invade the New World while also maintaining our build-up of troops in the Middle East because right now I think when the time comes for us to attack Persia or Persia to attack us we need to be ready uh, right let's set the guns up you're just gonna blast a hole straight through the line straight through the wall ahead of us oh it says get up and ready get some pikes and my marines they're going to go in through the breach three units are going to screen to the left skirmishers and a mixture of elites and um, their regular infantry they're going to screen the right my cavalry is going to stay in the back actually they're going to stay on the left we've got a monster unit of heavy cavalry because for whatever reason <laughs> we've got 280 heavy cavalry in one unit you men blast through the wall here. Quick line. Keep one unit dropping shells. Try and attack the center. Put a unit of pikemen back here. What did they all fire? They've all fired already. I was just too late. So our guns are opening up. Let's speed up time because right now this is a bit of a somewhat of a formality. We're gonna make a make our breach, then push forward. You can see the enemy deploying Swiss grenadiers, they've got Swiss line, militia, some good stuff. Some of their infantry here. Actually, get one unit of quick line to engage. The grenadiers behind, another to engage the garrison guards. The wall's down to 50%. Again, don't know why those things are unchecked because I never, why would you ever uncheck them? Okay, we'll just let the wall. There you go, that's what Swiss quick, quick Lime can do. One volley, Swiss grenadiers from 188 down to 35. Beautiful. Once we destroy the wall, we can have a lot more opportunities to do that. Because the enemy is going to deploy behind the breach in order to defend it. I think some of our shell shots have missed. troops push up but not too far probably a bit slower as well for well, my infantry to get past my gun line and then I want to start my gun line just start hammering the breach roll the guns forward coming in. So that's the unit of provincial line that's pushing out towards us. So we are going to position for a bit of musketry. Something like this. Cavalry scamper over here. Carabiner fire will off. Okay, we are in range of the militia and the troops in the center. Good. Quick line may as well try, try and hit. Oh, hello. Use laser chart. Someone's charging us. Get 
my gunners to re-attack the breach because it looks like they do not fancy it. Fire over the heads of my infantry. Excellent. Militia shattered. Fusiliers, are they still charging us? Doesn't look like it. They're coming off the walls to attack us anyway. Who are you? Uh, provincial line, you're going back into the city. My carabiner up there first, you guys hold, Sars, loiter. Yeah, we're doing a good amount of it, good amount of damage right here. Swiss line militia, provincial militia, and garrison militia, that's good. The Marines scale the wall there. I get my Swiss line over here to block that section. Are other people trying to push out? You have militia advancing out of the breach. And more than welcome to try and push out if they like. We will just burn powder. <laughs> to respond good artillery hits in the breach there okay, let's just drop again okay, quick time units drop on the breach another unit to attack this unit of fusiliers line coming out. They don't get a hurry on. Good hit. Plowing straight through so many of their guys. Coup de gras being delivered. It's just the morale of bonus of the city of the uh, defenses is so strong. Start dropping round shot to the provincial cav. Cease the fire at will. Let's get ready. Form our breach. Although it looks like cavalry are going to come after us, but they can't charge up the walls. Killed the enemy gen oh no, the enemy generals died from horse grenadier guards shooting him in the back. Beautiful. So Swiss line for square. Push the pikemen forward because the enemy's got lots of cavalry left. Actually, you might just wait here. Cavalry. The plates can go through here and take out the troops guarding the breach. My marines can charge along the wall. Guerrilla mercenaries go capture that gate. Skirmisher warband position as well. Here come some enemy cavalry. Come on, kill the last. Sometimes the game can struggle to kill the guy in the breach. It's 
Swiss pikemen are coming out. General bodyguards going in. Just get my guys up there to capture the breach. That'll put a stop to there. Dastardly plans. Okay, there's not enough of them there to uh, bog us down at the center in, in the main breach. So just push forward. Kill that last light foot. Come on, one last. He's running through with a sword. Go attack his fusiliers. Come on, capture the capture the gate. If we capture the gate, the Swiss plates don't even come out. Oh, I thought we got him. Madness. His plates are engaging. You may have formed square. Okay, where are my pikes? I'm gonna try to get my pikes through to attack the provincial cab and get my line infantry in against the dead provincial line. See, why is the gate not ours? Look at this, we, we own it. Madness. Plate's getting chewed up though. Round shot, engage, three pounder horse artillery. Finally get it, good. Shut that damn gate. These guerrilla mercenaries run to try to occupy the command HQ. The warband run to try to occupy the armory. The Swiss line get in here. E men disembark from the wall here. Marines going to be gutting the fusiliers. Bring my general up. It's basically what I want. No waiver, just climb up the top of the walls. Just ignore the combat down here. Let the general's bodyguard charge the square. Pikes focusing on trying to kill their cavalry units. I want these, I want the Swiss Pikes to abandon fighting here so that my cavalry can pour in. Oh no, they're going to counter charge the government the um, building my Swiss line are going to go in to meet them warband of taking the armory there's these handful of Swiss plates they've somewhat okay my cavalry run over here Really bogged down in the center. That's the biggest unit, the biggest enemy unit is that regiment of horse. Stop mowing them down. Let me get my howitz to try and engage. Marines off the wall, they're going to involve, get involved in the breach here. So the Swiss players, they don't want to commit either direction. So we might get you guys out of square, form. Ah, you broke. I wonder if it was to do with you firing into them. 
Swiss liner beating the provincial the provincial um, infantry in the center. So you men about face, reload, and just keep engaging. And you men should hopefully fire off the walls onto the pikes. And you are good. Now it says now ceasefire for a bit. Which cavalry is upset? Which infantry is upset? Keep my pikes going for the regiment, of course. Shaken. Swiss line's doing well. They give the cavalry orders to just run in now. Provincial line. Yep, Swiss line have seen them off. You're engaging the Swiss line outside the walls. Mostly. This is going to be a slow process. Carabiner can get over here and they can start shooting themselves. The mercenaries are sniping the artillery crewmen. Last of these horse grenadier guards, they're not going to get away. Come on, men, run in! Hey, these infantry came back. Form up on the walls, you're likely tired. Swiss line advance towards the centre. Garrison line broke. Provincial cav broke. All of the... Oh, they've all broken. They lost the last troops in the centre and that was enough. These men are going to route through the breach. So the cavalry. We could continue, but there's no sense. The first... This is my first recording session of the day. So... <laughs> bloodier battles are always the way. 3 to 1 ratio. Not terrible. Okay, let's repair the government building. Let's get the army replenished. And we don't have the money to demolish the university yet. But these men push up to the okay, river. We've done all the assassinating that we can do. Uh, you could do with what, replenishing whatever you can. Ultimately, if they try and attack us, this unit, this army will be fine to defeat them. It's the army inside the city that cause, could cause problems, but they are mostly um, conscripts and militia, so that's okay. So we're bringing Copenhagen in. We're ready to open up another front against the Swedes. So you, you're heading off here just to block off this army from where they want to go. You're replenishing, although you could stand probably push forward and attack, but we don't have any money. Next turn, I think, is when we do some more offensives. Or do I take my light galley? Very temporary. But we no, go here, then Rick. We at least might cut off some of their... No, I don't think we did cut off the reinforcements. Either way, let's just start um, sieging them. Let's see if we can assassinate that general. Ah, too bad. What about you? Can you assassinate that general? 31%. Ah, spotted. Bad luck. Okay, let's use this light galley over to Pamu. Okay, some of our units are growing. So you're a garrison army. Move you up to Courland. See if we can get this army on the move, ready and advancing. Can we get you advancing? I think Riga does not mind. So you're going to replenish here, then land at Finland. So this uh, this fleet probably going to get destroyed by this Dutch fleet, or Swedish fleet rather, but if they do it means one of our armies can push across here. Um, okay, Hanover. 
It'd be really nice if you chilled out. But let's hit end turn. I don't think there's a huge amount we can do uh, for now. The Dutch are moving forward. Yeah, so once we take out the Dutch, the a lot of the uh, the Americas is going to become a pirate empire. Ooh, they're moving around. Okay, so what is Sweden going to do? I'm, I'm sure they're going to attack that ship. They'll be a coffee. Uh, or not, actually, they might not be. You know, I wonder what they're thinking about. We need to subdue Denmark first, though, before we can move into the western part of Scandinavia at any sort of speed. But that'll come in time. And we also need to secure Morocco still. We're on our way, but... They're maneuvering lots of troops in the, in the fog of war. I think they, they realise that Sweden, that Finland might be at risk. Yep, they do. Falling back to defend the city. Which is good, because it means it, it leaves um, St. Petersburg that much more alone. Oh, how cute. Mr. Bruno is going to have to deal with the Swedish army. It should be okay. So light troops, lots of artillery. So our cavalry is going to be kept busy. And enemy reinforcements coming in on the left flank. Our other army is not coming in to reinforce because they had no movement points at the end of their turn. So, Mr. Bruno is on his own. Yeah, most the biggest, yeah, the, the reinforcing army is coming in on the extreme left. So that's probably where the bulk of our firepower wants to be facing. If they come in through here. That'd be super. Okay, so I'm gonna occupy this high ground up here. I have one gun facing that direction. Let's keep. Okay, let's put. Oh, a terrible firing position. Not a great one either. Something like this. Let's put a unit or a, group, a small force here just to keep that held. Some elite troops here, but shuffle to the right. Marines and Swiss Mountaineer get to deploy as needed. Howitzers deploy behind the hill. Quick climb up and firing. Keep my heavy cavalry with the force, but keep my light cavalry away from the force. Both hidden. My general stand on the hill. Gun team that hasn't deployed. Oh, they're, they're all the way over here still. Let's try and engage these horse guards with a long range artillery fire. Probably get my Marines out here. My light troops might go deploy up here. my Hussar, see if I can up upend their use of cavalry. Oh, you're shooting through my general. That general bodyguard. Keep 
see how it's just firing. Kind of flank back. The missiles have caught the camera bodyguard. Engage the regiment of course. Advance it to this high ground. You can support the engagement against the against the horse grenadier guards. Where's my heavy cavalry? Bring them into attack the general. Attack my troops in the flank, but one unit doing that isn't a problem. Horse guards are committing against my hussars, so I don't want that to happen. Run back with all speed. Engage that six pounder unit. Travels tearing these grenadiers up. are in a bad position to shoot. Okay, both of our foot artillery pieces can focus on... Engage the artillery first. Just keep pouring it on them. Fusiliers and Osterbotten Regiment. Horse Grenadier Guards are still causing problems. But if I can get you guys out, get my Swiss Jaeger out here as well. Caught between the square and my heavy cavalry, these horse guards should not have. There shouldn't be many problems there. to sweep the mountain troops away. Provincial calves coming in. Okay. Seen them off, finally. Let's reform the line.
and my light cavalry can be deployed. Isn't a great position to push forward to take. Good quick climb hits. Excellent. Blast on with shrapnel. More enemy infantry coming in. The enemy artillery is still here in numbers. A good quick climb here, here would do wonders. Okay, Lloyd Cavalry, yeah, you commit. Take a few units out. Broken the unit of grenadiers. Uh, the artillery focus on these mountain troops because these guys are going to be able to engage us from extended ranges. There we go. They're going to move into range. Nice of them. Hit. Bring you guys back. Yeah, they're just done. Switch one unit the round shot. Start attacking towards the rear. Pushing up. So we don't advance too far ahead of the guns. But advancing up some distance will help. Hello, the enemy is still hiding. Switch to round shot, start engaging some of the enemy infantry units. Send the cavalry in to try and knock out these grenadiers. We're going to chase down these last remaining Swedish infantry. Good. Bring them over. Bring my heavy cavalry up. Climbing howitzers, make sure they're engaging different targets. Excellent, that's a grenadier, destro grenadier unit destroyed. The first regiment of foot. So they can open up on my cavalry, but that's okay. Just try to do a bit more damage. There we go. Bring them back. Okay. Foot artillery. Chip away at their provincial cavalry at the back and those royal Swedish dragoons. Apart from that, they're going to march into our gun sites. Let's speed up time, let the units that are retreating retreat, let everybody advance up the field a little bit more.
charge the Swedish Dragoons because they've dismounted. My heavy cavalry took a bit of a hit from them. They can try hitting me in the rear. It's not going to work. Get my general off of the hill. Turn around and face off against the fourth. And then that leaves all of their gunners exposed at the back. Go get him, Regiment of Horse. You're at full strength. Cavalry, all of you get over here by the guns. These troops are all that remain. And the bus shotgunners. Switch the gunners to shrapnel shots. Get over here. Everyone's bodyguards getting heroic and charging against the blunderbuss shotguns. Slaughter them, cease fire the artillery. Priority. This unit of Hussars over against the six pounder horse artillery. Regiment of horse is more than good enough to deal with the, reg the general's bodyguard. Keep attacking them. Try to kill the general. Got him. Here we go, that gunner. And we are going to kill the gun teams. And we are going to kill the rest of the Swedish troops. Keep killing them, don't let them get away. Gunner, they've been killed. Great. Go attack an enemy infantry unit. Two men left to kill here. I think they are running around just on the ground. It's not these guys with, with the um the limbers. Those don't count. Awesome, let's just speed up time. Yeah, we are gonna continue. Heavy cavalry's got the blender bus shotgunners. Good pathfinding. Kill the last of those grenadiers. Only two left. One left. Got him. Five grenadiers. They're all gone too. No, so the Stockholm garrison's quite badly beaten up. You've been pushed back in an annoying direction.
Oh, you're marching within range of this army, but he's at full strength. He's minus one unit, but that's fine. We don't need to have parity there. When the Mughals come, they're going to be a handful. At some point, we need to order 66 some of our allies. Not that that really matters much to us. I'm more than happy to t turn on my enemies. Kill a rake at Brandenburg. Let's send you just over to Paris, I guess. New town emerges in Bashrika. Get a craft workshop. Oh, Comey, you still don't have your magistrate or your better roads. Consider gained. Enemy raid. Instructions. Let's get some more. Keep upgrading our economy because I want we own we own almost all of Europe. So we really want to be in a position where we can just start not steamrolling exactly, but really start to build up our economic power. I think we're getting a lot of these tier three economy buildings is really going to help. Unsurprisingly, upgrading your economy helps your economy. Top tip. <laughs> okay, keep the industry upgrades going. Bulgaria, upgrade to you. Good. As of upgrade the steelworks. Public servant dies. One of my ministers. Let's just make sure he hasn't been replaced by someone who's terrible. And they're all four star or better. That's okay. The opposition might be better. But there's going to be an election next turn anyway. So workers on strike in Cologne. Understandable. So as an example, I want this unit to pull out. No, don't go into their army. There we go. Switch. So this army is more able to defend. You replenish. Let's repair the pleasure gardens first and ignore the rest of it. Make sure you're replenishing. Make sure you're replenishing. So before we do anything in the, in the west, I want to try and do some stuff in the east. No, they really don't like us at Courland. Try to recruit some more Dragoons. Pronto. Let's recruit some more in Riga. Servo vostro, signore. Okay, signore. let's get this army aboard ship. This is signore, or embark signore, them, rather. Signore. Oh, yeah. Drop them off of... Okay. Oh, okay. Sweet. Demand the surrender of the territory, which they do. I wonder, how's Stockholm looking? There are troops nearby, but not a lot. Let's pick you up. Mr. Balbus, you've been here for a long time. Let's drop you off the coast of Stockholm and give Sweden an existential crisis. One second, guys. Be right back. And I am back. Right, so we deposited this army off the coast of Stockholm. Again, just to cause them a few problems. Let's occupy Visby. Actually, let's go back to occupy Panu. Send a light galley over to occupy Visby. Okay, you're all recruiting. So, Africa. You advance. I don't think you can leave Algiers just yet, but when the time comes, you may just land straight in Madrid and start to attack Spain. Oh, Cagliari. Obviously, you haven't done any upgrading here and that's another army that we could use so the knights of st john hostile at war with persia okay so you are you are ripe to attack the knights of st john 
Don't call my allies in. We have our main fleets over in the west. Although we need, we need more. So this main fleet buttons them up. Sloot. Well, actually, they really don't like us. Well, I suppose they don't really have a garrison. You men put... You have to land just off the coast. Let's take... These two units of line infantry back to Cagliari. Put them into... Yeah. Oh no, actually. Interesting, you can deploy them straight from the beach. That kind of helped. But next turn they should be even better. Let's upgrade the mine. Okay, yeah, you're not likely to be able to leave for a while. We've got Catholicism to grow. We've got some resistance to foreign occupation to go down. I mean, we could build some Dragoons. Actually, no, we can't build some Dragoons. Either way... Let's take Mr. Sabatini. Didn't like me clicking him. And we're going to attack this Spanish army here in Iran. One second. Okay, yeah, we're going to attack this Spanish army, drive it west. A mixture of regular line and colonial troops, that shouldn't be a problem. A bit of attrition for the enemy army, but there isn't a huge amount. That'll push them back towards uh, Morocco. Which is great. You could probably do with more fleets. I mean, we'll definitely need more ships in general when it comes to attacking um, the Americas. <laughs> because we're going to have so many troops to move when the time comes. Oh, bugged gun teams. Don't you just love it? Sit up on the high ground, firing trap shots. All of our large units of infantry are going to advance in one decent line. Grenadiers going to mass on the right flank with a unit of cuirassier. Light and cuirassier on the left. Actually, my howitzers might use quick flame. So the enemy may have shrapnel shot, or not, as the case may be. Just happy to let my artillery open up at whoever they like for the time being. Quick climb start picking away at their line infantry. Colonial Dragoons, even two units of Colonial Dragoons aren't that scary. left just bring that blank in the dragoons have actually pulled back okay, so i want these units just storm up towards the enemy grenadiers push up to the flank qsr take the high ground Switch my artillery to round shot, engage some of the colonial units to the rear, some of the line infantry. Colonial Dragoon is time to be engaged in the center. Let's push them away. Need to, I can commit my grand is to bolster my Curacier. My grand is from the square. I think let, let them do that. If you want to come in and attack my squares, that's great. The 
Oops, stay in square because one unit's to for you. Artillery's making a real mess. Infantry positioning gets a bit dicey. Advancing through the towns. Okay, artillery support the right flank, just the air, bring them back into the fight. Counter charge the colonial lights. them over here. Plug the gap. The Spanish hussars are coming back. The African NATO country has been pushed back anyway. The reason of cavalry when there's lots of cavalry defences it's really you can't do any grand sweeping maneuvers with them. at a point where we can start to outflank the defensive line. God, they've completely broken on the right. Yeah, my cavalry start chasing down some of these infantry units one by one and start um, trying to shatter them. on the centre. That's where the enemy strength is. What remains of it. Get my light cavalry in the centre to try help. Get my cuirassier to try to shatter the unit of this 22nd regiment on foot. Oh yeah, a unit of light cavalry has come back. They're going to charge my grenadiers in the rear. Form square! Who's charged? The unit of Amazons has charged some of our brave and glorious line infantry. I attack the Irish Brigade, they're a better unit. Their cavalry is engaging. Wants to chase down my cavalry. Your chateau, I don't want my infantry to get bogged down trying to fill those units. Is that everybody? Yeah, they've just been annihilated. Oh, it's a foot artillery ceasefire. Get my cavalry to ignore their, ignore their um, cavalry. They're trying to distract us. You men smash their militia unit. The last unit standing. They're already shaken. Kill the last of the Irish brigade. Try chase down the general. They're my cuirassier, so they might not have good success there. Okay, cuirassier, go after that unit of. I suppose, in a way, that cavalry unit has been a success, and it keeps my cuirassier away from chasing down the rest of their units. Kill the enemy general, that's good. Cuirassier help can smash the colonial militia. Okay, let's just 
smash. Yeah, we're going to continue, but everybody who isn't cavalry just line up and cease fire. You kill a clan your line up and shoot it though, that's going to be pretty tasty. chase anyone away over here, although the edge of the map's got to be quite close. Kill the militia. Good. Suspect, yeah. A lot of these units are going to escape, that's not a problem, because usually when they're all strung out like this, it can be really tricky to actually destroy them, so it's not a huge loss for us. Especially when, look at that weird, ha, <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna get to the edge of the line here. Still, good win. You're one of the last pockets of Spanish strength before we get to the capital. Oh, they didn't even run that far. <laughs> Job. Excellent. Take re re reinforce on the border. Oran as a shipyard we are going to keep. So you're up on the frontier, you're going to push up to the frontier. Gibraltar. Morocco is garrisoned with a lot of guns. That's not necessarily a good thing. Bad luck about the sabotage. Um, Denmark's already coming around to us. So then I'll dance, get a church school, Lubeck, get a trade port, the shipyard's already being graded. Good, let's upgrade the re recruitment built, uh, the recruitment infrastructure that we've got, because you could use Copenhagen as quite a nice staging post for further attacks. So you're there, you're there, okay, upgrade this, and then I think. Okay, let's just deal with the last um, <laughs> the attack against St. Petersburg. I'm not going to auto resolve it because those handful of guys will do an, a ludicrous amount of damage. Let's just take them out now. Take them out, capture the city, advance. We didn't even need to advance towards Finland. My reinforcing army might have just sailed straight to Stockholm and support that attack. You know, why worry about trying to clear the territory when we can just advance on their cities and destroy their empire. So on the off chance that they deploy outside of the city towards us, as they are wont to do at times, let's deploy like this. How it's going to use quick line just to try and do as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. And yeah, a lot of this is going to be <laughs> playing at the uh, higher speeds. Although we want to make sure our gunners are. See, they don't like receiving orders at high speed. Interesting, my father is actually kind of bugged. Limber up. I wonder if they're too close. Drag them back. Or too close to my infantry, maybe? Normally, they don't normally care about friendly fire like that. Just drag them back out of the way. Unlimber them, spin the guns around. There we go. How weird. Good old Empire. So we should get through pretty quickly. good chunk of cavalry in the center. This is very much a 
token effect. One thing I do miss from Empire is that the forts, I mean, this might be accurate, but I'd love a giant fort with a city inside. But I suppose the pathfinding and the mechanics can be weird enough in the, you know, as it is, let alone having lots of cities and buildings and all sorts to kind of manage. Chipping away at the fort. 31%, we're a third of the way there. To be honest, it's probably more in our interest to get our howitzers to also start engaging at the wall, just to not make this last literally forever. Once we're in, my cavalry can just run straight through the breach. Yeah, take some shots at my hussars, that's perfectly fine. It's that one gun that's kind of picking away at us, but once we get in. 26 percent hasn't even disappeared. Now get my cavalry through. Don't waste your time fighting these guys. Ultimately, the... <laughs> All this infantry has just been trying to occupy the same point in space. Some of them will get snagged by this infantry. Something like this. Bill past the engagement for the most part. Some of you can get involved in fighting these these cuirassiers. The rest of you just ignore them. Run towards the centre square. Swiss infantry killed their guy and then they broke. Okay, people just wanna scamper around like that, that's okay. You're gonna suicidally charge into the square. You're, you're a piper, isn't he? He's off. Kill the enemy general. It should be enough for them. Again, it wasn't as efficient as it could have been, but you know, I'm not that bothered about efficiency for this army. It was more about not wanting to do damage to the second army. This bad boy, he's already at full strength. See you. Siamo pronti. Get ready. Okay, then you. We can't sail all the way out into the Balkans yet, but we can drop them off off of Stockholm. 
That's two. Oh, I mean, he's ready to rock and roll. Pronta, pronta. You get this sh um, chipped back to Garrison Kronstadt. Okay, first port of call. Replenish the army. Then let's repair the military academy and the observatory. No, not the military academy. The governor's par palace and the observatory. Repair that building as we can. The Catholic missionary is already converting the population, which is great. You can attack that Swedish set of leftovers. Awesome. So what are you guys going to do? You're in trouble. So this... Actually, no. This rate can keep going over towards Stockholm. Because I think a lot of these troops are going to run inside the city when we hit M10. Uh, we haven't got any money, but looking at the timer, I believe I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. We are, we are making progress. Cheers, everyone.